Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the RC4 algorithm. In this video, I'll explain you the procedure. Procedure in the sense, what are the steps involved and what are the algorithms that you have to follow in each and every step that I will explain you. In the next video, I'll take an example and I'll explain you the example problem as well, okay? Because the example is going to be very wrong. It has uh, so many iterations. So if I include everything in this video, it will become long, okay? So first, let us see the procedure the steps involved and the next the example okay first it is a stream cipher algorithm till now whatever we have learned it may be DES, AES, Blowfish, IDA all these are block cipher algorithms right now this RC4 is an example of stream cipher algorithm got it and the procedure first what you have to do is you need to use an array S which is nothing but the state vector state vector and it is of length 256 bytes sorry 256 bits and the size starts from 0 to 255 and it has a key which is encoded with ASCII and it has a key array which is of length the same length again so forget this the important thing that you have to know is that steps which you have in the RC4 algorithm RC4 algorithm basically it has three steps okay first is key scheduling then you do the stream key generation uh, sorry key stream generation then you do the encryption then decryption got it so these are the three steps involved in RC4 number one is key scheduling number two is key stream generation number three is encryption and decryption got it first what you do you will be doing the key scheduling part okay for key scheduling you have an algorithm first in key scheduling and in key stream generation you will have some iterations okay you will have several iterations in both of them in key scheduling and stream key generation you will have iterations and how many iterations it depends on the size of the s array okay uh, don't worry i'll tell you what s array is and all so number of iterations will depend on the SRA. If the size of the SRA is 8, then you have to do 8 iterations starting from 0 to 7. If the size of SRA is 4, you need to do 4 iterations starting from 0 to 3 like that. Okay. It depends on the size of the SRA. Right. And you have an algorithm for key scheduling. What is that algorithm? First, you need to initialize J is equal to 0. For I is equal to 0 to 255, do. Here, what is the value of I? I'll uh, tell you in this array, don't worry. I is equal to 0 to 255 do. J is equal to J plus S of I plus T of I. S of I in the sense, this is the state vector. T of I is nothing but the key array. It is a temporary vector. And how to get this, I'll tell you. Mod 256. 256 in the sense, what is the size? If the size is 8, here you have to take 8. If the size is 4, you ha here you have to take 4. Depends on the size here also, okay? Suppose if the size is 8, then it becomes from i is equal to 0 to 7 and here it becomes mod 8. If the size is 4, then here it becomes i is equal to 0 to 3 and this becomes mod 4 like that. Okay, it depends on the size swap s of i and s of j. So, very simple, don't confuse, don't get confused. And here as I said, s of i is state vector and t of i is the key array which is nothing but the temporary vector. Now, for example, you have to assume the s array okay so what will be the s array what is the size 8 right we have taken the size to be as 8 bits so 0 to 7 will be your s array the next key array key array and the plain text will be given in the question itself got it so plain text you have to convert it into cipher text that is encryption and cipher text back to plain text is decryption right so this we will be doing in step 3 okay so first you will have your plain text and key array given and you need to assume the s array got it now TRA, you have to initialize the TRA with the help of key. In the, in TRA, you should only have key values. Apart from key values, you should not have anything else in the TRA. Got it? But actually, what is the size of the S array? It is 8 bits, right? And what is the size of the key? It is only 4 bits. So what you have to do is you need to repeat the key. 1, 2, 3, 6. 1, 2, 3, 6. Again, 1, 2, 3, 6. You have to repeat. Okay? You have to repeat the key since the size of the S array and key is not equal. You need to have the size of S array and T array is as equal, right? And what you have to fill in the T array, you should only fill in with the key. But you don't have eight bits in key, right? So you have to repeat it until you get the number of bits. Got it? So this is the, this is what you have to do. Th these are the 
things you need you need an sra you need a kra plain text and you need the tra got it these are the four things that you need and the three steps are key scheduling key stream generation and encryption and decryption in key scheduling you'll be following this algorithm right so for example i'll, I'll just show you one iteration okay so first j is equal to 0 we have assigned from i is equal to 0 to 7 there in the al algorithm i have shown you 255 why because size minus 1 so here what is the size 8 right so 0 to 7 okay and what will be j j is equal to j is equal to what j plus s of i plus t of i right so what is the value of j here zero and what is the value of s of i i is what zero this is the first iteration right so for i is equal to zero what is s of zero in this s of zero this is s of zero one two three you know this right and this is seven s of seven four five six so the index starts from 0 as you already know. So what is S of 0? In S of 0 position, what do you have? 0. So 0 plus 0 plus and what do we have? J plus S of i plus T of i, right? T of i in the sense T of 0. In T of 0, what do we have? We have 1. So plus 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1 mod 8. That is nothing but 1 mod 8. 1 mod 8, you will get 1. So the value of J is 1. So once you get the value of J, what you have to do? You need to swap S of i and S of J, right? So what is the value of S of i? i sorry i i is 0 and what is the value of j 1 so you need to swap s of 0 and s of 1 s of 0 is 0 and s of 1 is 1 you need to swap these two things so here it becomes 1 0 okay so 1 0 2 3 5 6 7 so the same way you have to do for i is equal to 1 2 and so on up to 7 got it up to you have to do 8 iterations from 0 to 7 so now what you will do is you will be doing the second step which is nothing but the stream generation in stream generation also you will have to follow number of iterations and that number of iterations will be equal to size of the key in the previous example we have taken what is the size of the key 4 right so here you have to do 4 iterations starting from 0 to 3 got it so in case of first thing in case of the first step in key scheduling how many iterations you will be doing the size of the state array here how many iterations you will be doing the size of the key array since the size of key is 4 you will be doing 4 iterations here from 0 to 3 and what is the algorithm we are using here i comma j is equal to 0 while true i is equal to i plus 1 mod 256 j is equal to j plus s of i mod 256 swap t is equal to s of i plus s of j mod 256 and k is equal to s of t got it what is this k here key okay for like this you will get k1 in the first step k2 in the second step k k1 in the sense k of 0 here next you will get k of 1 in the second iteration k of 2 in the third iteration k of 3 in the fourth iteration like that you will be getting a new key array got it and this new key array should be used for encryption and decryption for encryption and decryption also we have some formula in that formula we will be having key so in the place of that key you should use this newly obtained key not the previous key which we have in the question okay and here even in stream generation also here you are having s of i right s of i s of j so here you should not use the previous array which you have in your question initially what you have taken 1 uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 was your state array right here you should not use that state array you have to use the state array which you get at the end of the seventh iteration in the key scheduling step in the first step we will be doing seven iterations right so at the end of sorry eight iterations right so at the eight of the eighth end of the eighth iteration you will be getting a new state array after swapping so that one you have to use as reference here okay now don't get confused when i explain you with an example you will clearly understand that okay so this is about the second step and in the third step what do we have the third step which we have to follow is the encryption and decryption right so in encryption and decryption what you have to do for encryption you have a formula pt xor new key so pt is nothing but the plain text plain text should be x uh, you have to do the xor operation for plain text with the new key not with the old key which is already in the question you have new to key use here key. got it so first what you have to do is you have one two like we have taken some plain text right uh, for example our plain text is one two two so first you need to convert it into binary binary in the sense so what is the binary representation of one zero 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 one and what is binary representation of uh, two zero zero one zero this two also zero zero one zero 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 
वन जीरो गॉट इट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट दी प्लेन टेक्स्ट इन बाइनरी फॉर्मेट नेक्स्ट यू नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट योर न्यू की ऑल्सो इन बाइनरी फॉर्मेट गॉट इट आफ्टर रिप्रेजेंटेटिंग इट इन द बाइनरी फॉर्मेट यू नीड टू डू दी एक्स और ऑपरेशन एक्स और ऑपरेशन यू हैव टू डू देन यू विल बी गेटिंग दी साइफर टेक्स्ट got it and then you need to use this cipher text again do xor operation for this cipher text with the new key then you will be getting back your plain text got it this is how you have to do the encryption and decryption process which is the last step got it first what you have to do you need to do the key scheduling in the second step you have to do the key stream generation in the third step you have to do the encryption and decryption for step 1 and step 2 you have to follow a steps of algorithm whereas in encryption and decryption it is very simple got it so that's all for this video in the next video i will explain you the process of key distribution in case of symmetric key how you will be doing the key distribution how key is distributed to all the people got it and what are the different methods we have and all so that's all for this video i hope this video is clear for you let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic